Hello, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Today we'll do a reading quite special and I will entitle this reading for whoever needs to hear this message. But most importantly, we're looking for the equinox, the first day of fall speaking on this Thursday, September 22nd. I do record two days prior, so this is coming up very, very quickly. For some of you, you know, whatever hemisphere in the world you are, September 22nd, 23rd is considered the equinox. As well, we have a few good planets in retrograde, most likely six of them, including Mercury retrograde. As well, this day is the the time when two zodiac signs are say goodbye and others say hi. Libra and Virgo at the verge and might give you us a lot of new insights, new energy, looking for something new. And things might seem a little changing in a positive manner. So for that reason, I want to make a reading for those of you who really need to hear these messages and who are very inclined to get something in the new season. The new seasons indeed brings new energies, shifting energies as well. Yes, we're speaking on this day. I will probably make a, a reading for the new moon in Libra as well. Could be just... Um, a talk about this or talk about tarot or how the tarot can influence these energies or bring the messages but here we are whoever needs to hear about this message for this particular time period knowing also that whatever readings are here on the channel None of them are just for one day, even though we put timelines for today, for tomorrow, or for this week, or for this month. We are all living in different timelines, know that. And for some of you, certain energies already passed, similarities. For others of you, just feel like, oh, now it's happening, and for others, are coming. Let's see, loves. What do we have for this time period? For, the, for this equinox, consider even though first day of fall, but as well, a lot of more is there. Ten of Swords underneath, Temperance, Five of Pentacles, Strength, Eight of Pentacles, and the Four. Couldn't be better said here in the cards. But indeed here, after a long time of trying, somebody here finds that they are going to put their energy into something new or is taking a leap of faith into something new. The fact is, whoever I'm speaking here, you are not someone who takes things lightly. You could give it all. You could put it all. And I might speak here with a Leo or a Sag. It doesn't matter the zodiac. We all have zodiac signs in our chart. But indeed here, someone here really felt it on their own skin for quite a while. Now they're building something new or they do something new, taking that leap of I'm taking something and I really want to work it through. So here we are, Nine of Wands, the first card. Moon. Hierophant. Two of Cups. Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Four of Wands. 
other zodiac signs we have moon which represent a water energy of cancerian could be piscean as well queen of cups cancerian usually for me could be a cancer scorpio pisces taurus energy here and with the full aries or a gemini so we have fire energies Somebody here could have their moon in Taurus. But yes, the energy here speaks of I gave a lot even though was not given a lot. Quite the contrary. And I know I deserve all the best out there. But with this nine of wands kind of it's hard to believe that could be something good. It's like through whatever here have been. Some of you indeed here have been through, you know, the dark of a night. Hit the rock bottom. And still even though that could be stability there. And that is for the future. Because you know, loves, whatever we are believing in, it's coming for us. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. The past indeed here felt quite hard. One more card for the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, King of Swords. Somebody here may said, well, Whatever was in the past, I will never go back. And for others of you, could be dealing here with someone who, you know, been thinking whatever it's good for them. And Six of Swords, not anymore. In that move. So, as you see here, we have three Six cards right away. The Six of Wands is the one missing. With Six of Wands, very strongly speaking of, of overcoming a situation which was quite critique for quite a while. The Nine of Wands here speaking of, Seven of Swords, trust. There's a lot of trust issues. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So somebody here indeed felt it's quite hard to believe that whoever is here to offer, whatever they're going to offer, will be for the long run. As you see here, this Nine of Wands with Ace of Wands, it's quite a Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands speaks of everything on someone's shoulders. So, my love, somebody here really needs to define how they put and how they get. It's a give and receive energy here that somebody here needs to balance it. Great for this time being. 
to balance whatever you are receiving and whatever you are give and whatever works and nurtures you. The three of swords here, nine of wands, five of swords, king of pentacles, and king of cups, goodness. And the moon, chariot, justice, three of wands, the devil, and ten of cups. It's kind of somebody here very hard was it's kind of the their target was I just want to be happy. The fact is how to be happy was very hard to find or very hard to identify. So that's the healing here. It's happening. There's still also, even though somebody here brings everything, all the good to the table, all the thing to the table, they still in that energy that what else the queen of cups we have lovers Seven of Cups, Five of Cups, Hangman, Seven of Wands, Four of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles. So whoever I'm speaking here, somebody indeed here, try to choose what's best but felt quite a hard time to see the light at the end of the tunnel it's like whatever they tried felt was an agony back and forth back and forth So once they try to figure out or they try to fight, because I'm speaking here with a very optimistic person. Well, if one thing doesn't work, next one. Well, this choice is not really good. I'll try the next one. Even though I don't trust it, I have a lot of trust issue things and so on, so on. So they found themselves that a as much as they try harder, the harder it get. Now, somebody here might feel like, well, I will go just with the flow. I will take my time. And ba bam. This Ace of Pentacles comes when somebody here is kind of, don't force the things anymore. Or don't try as harder as possible for the things. It's kind of like I will do what is the best that I consider is the best for me. But I'm not going to push. 
So whoever I'm speaking here loves, there's something here that do you heal you, take care of you. And if you truly believe in certain things, keep doing them, but do not push to the core. Because somebody here could push a lot and was felt very strong on their own skin. It's kind of somebody here is done waiting or tried a lot of things or a lot of it's kind of I tried this doesn't work I tried that doesn't work but the universe is telling you just believe take your time and then things will start showing up for you There's another thing here. The things didn't which didn't work, don't repeat them again. As you see here in this reading, we have a five of pentacles, a five of cups, a five of swords. The five of wands is the one missing. Other people. People always will talk. That's why 99.9 in population of the globe speaks. Yes, we have those who might not have a voice, but a lot of people talk. Either you do something great or not. Another thing here we, as you see, loves, we have here the sevens. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles is missing. Seven of Pentacles speaks of waiting time or giving it time. And for those of you who did really work hard for a long time, there's coming results. And they are quite a lot. For some of you, not being afraid to go forward, to do you, and to keep working on the things, you will overcome a karmic tie here. By overcoming this tie, your happiness is here. Or there's certain energies here that will fulfill you tremendously. Because there is a wish here for some of you that feels like this wish it's will never happen or will never get it. But it is coming. Big time. Let's see. What do we have as advice from the spirit for whatever is going on here for whoever is going on world underneath we have two of pentacles and the world speaks my loves that 
something is done. There's something new on the way. Page of Pentacles. Page of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. So new things on the horizon presented by the universe. And the universe is here to tell you, don't even doubt. Two of Pentacles underneath, we have Eight of Swords. Just because you, you might not really see it clearly, the way it comes, how it comes, doesn't mean that not coming. Because whatever here it's coming for you is for your own happiness. A beautiful rebirth energy. So keep looking, loves. Look at here. Page of Cups. And Three of Pentacles. So things are start to, to be in motion for some of you. But this motion, it's quite quick, quite fast out there. So the universe guidance, it's quite here, loves. No matter whatever it is. I will look really quick in the deck. Where is the um, Six of Wands? Because Six of Wands speaks of an overcoming energy here. Getting over above and beyond. And how that gets. As well, the King of Wands here. And I found really quick this King of Wands from the Kings here. King of Wands, next one we have Eight of Wands, underneath we have Ten of Pentacles. So whatever it's here, you know it's on the way to you. Or whatever actions here, and the next is Full Empress, goodness. The Five of Wands as well here. Queen of Wands, Tower, and the Empress. So, you know, a lot of Things, a lot of drama energy here is kind of spreading out. The Six of Wands, it's right here. Underneath we have the Star and the Emperor. Nine of Swords, Tower, and the Queen of Wands. So whatever actions here might, might be a little out of reality feel, but the fact is... Everybody will see it differently. For some of you, you you might get to to a point in your life that things start to show up for you, and comes in a beautiful, you know, flow and easy. And you know, when things start this way, a lot of people might feel like, "Where well, what you've done?" Well, looking backwards doesn't look quite milk and honey for some of you. Hard work, a lot of effort, and through that effort, a lot of failures. It's not easy. Yes, many people will talk and will see just the surface where you are. As well, for those of you who've been through a lot of things in life, not necessarily that you work on something specifically, but you could be con committed here with someone and they cheated on you and that was a big boom for you and so on. But now, things start to moving forward. But yes, you're still quite uncertain if this truly is a blessing. You know, for some of you, you could have gone through a lot of tests. Things 
my not felt that will go to the distance but here we are and from now on there is someone here and not only one there's many more that will have a big rekindling rebirthing energy coming in and the next three years looks quite pleasant so look at here this changes the embracing the enthusiast shot to the heavens with happiness it's more likely saying thank you for the universe for all this changing wandering path enjoy the journey miracles expect the wonders emerge rainbow blessings blessings are showering your life and grace and gratitude through gratitude joy expands so indeed here for some of you trust in the blessings trust in the miracles because they are coming whatever it is here and I feel here for some of you you you've been probably one of the most humble people someone can meet or even you because you know being humble for whatever it is being thankful for what we have more it's coming because a lot of people are kind of like well i have this but i i don't have this and stick with what i don't have i'm focusing what for what i don't have not what i have and that's quite the thing but focusing on what we have being grateful for what we have and believing that the universe has more and we deserve more that one is coming so i hope this reading finds you uplifted finds you in a great moment and if doesn't know that blessings are coming and I feel here from a period from your life which you felt very much in the dark. And even though you never had that faith or belief, now you do. Or now you're gonna do. Indeed here, certain great shifts are happening. And you're gonna have it. The best of the best. Thank you loves. Much appreciation for coming in. And, of course, if you really enjoy, you know what to do. But, of course, I will see all of you next time. Happy Equinox. And very happy for whoever needs to hear this message. Namaste.